Hey everyone, welcome to Practically. We bring learning alive. And today I am here to discuss with you all some interesting and important concepts in biology which would be helpful for quick revision for your exams. Let's dive deep into the world of biology and today we are going to discuss the fundamental unit of life that is cell. And some organelles in summary and particularly we are going to discuss endoplasmic reticulum which many students find confusing. We know that the cell has a layer of cell membrane which holds the cytoplasm and various organelles in it. And in case of multicellular organisms, they have various complex chemical activities occurring within the cell. And that's why these activities are compartmentalized into various structures which are also membrane bound. And these various structures are called as the cell organelles which perform various functions in the cell. And there are different types of cell organelles in the cell. And these membrane bound cell organelles make eukaryotic cell different from that of the prokaryotic cells since they don't have membrane bound organelles. And these various organelles perform very important function which can only be observed under electron microscope. So the various organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, the lysozyme, the mitochondria and the plasmids. These various organelles perform very important function within the cell which helps the overall organism. In today's session, we are going to discuss in detail about the endoplasmic reticulum also known as ER. Endoplasmic reticulum is a network of membrane bound vesicles or tube like structure, the lumen of which is filled with a fluid which is also called as a cisternal space and these have various tube like structure which also form the vesicles and this is formed in present in the form of network around the nucleus. The membrane of uh, endoplasmic reticulum is similar to that of membrane of this, uh, the cell membrane. The endoplasmic reticulum is of two types, the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And what makes them different is the presence of tiny granules which can be observed under microscope called as the ribosomes. The ribosomes are site of protein synthesis. They synthesize proteins which is a very important function as proteins are building blocks of body. And once these proteins are synthesized, they are transported to the cytoplasm and then to the various parts where these proteins uh, function. This is a function of endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the synthesis of lipids or the fats. Some of these lipids and proteins help uh, in the constituent of the cell membrane and like that of the carrier proteins and this process is called as membrane biogenesis. They also help in various other functions like enzymes and that of the hormones within the cell. Endoplasmic reticulum is different in different types of cell but overall it always forms a network and this network helps to transport various substances especially the proteins to the cytoplasm and the various other organelles within the cell especially from the nucleus to that of the cytoplasm since the endoplasmic reticulum surrounds the nucleus. So it helps for the easy exchange. It also provides a cytoplasmic framework uh, for the cell. And the endoplasmic reticulum uh, plays a very important role in providing mechanical support to the colloidal cytoplasm. And that's why it helps in giving strength to the cell. In case of uh, some vertebrae, the liver cells which are present in them the smooth endoplasmic reticulum plays a very important role of detoxification of drugs and thus removing the poison. So these were the various functions of endoplasmic reticulum. For more such amazing content, download the Practically app and also enroll for a one month free NTSC fast track course which is to help you score well in that exam. And do follow us for more such amazing content. Thank you. Bring learning alive. Practically.